monitoring that. Well, parents, students, and teachers took to Davis School District tonight for a special meeting on the district's reopening. Some wanting five days of in-school learning instead of a hybrid schedule. Others feel the mix of in-class and remote learning is the best option. ABC 4's Jason Wynn joining us with the final decision there. Jason. The district voted to continue on with the hybrid schooling option, which is one of the three options the district turned into the state as a completed plan. Things got heated outside the Davis School District Thursday night. If you care about children, you know they are safe. Corinne Johnson has five children in the district. She wants kids in physical classrooms five days a week because she is concerned about students' mental health. We saw a sharp increase in depression, anxiety, and even suicide amongst our kids and teens. And we also saw the lack of resources that were able to be given to underprivileged and under supported students. One teacher says the spread of COVID-19 can be worse under that option. We have to consider the mental health of our students if they come back and people get sick. If they take this home to grandparents or parents, if one of their teachers dies, what about that mental toll? How do they deal with that? Inside the district, the board heard more from parents and teachers. The risk outweighs what's good. The good is the education they're getting from these amazing teachers that are out there. I don't want a bunch of active shooters in my building in the form of a virus. I will step in front of a bullet for my students. I don't want them to be the bullet. Board President John Robinson says the board voted for a plan and that plan has three options, remote learning, a hybrid schedule and five days a week in person classes. After checking with legal teams, he says the board does not have to revote for an option in the plan because the plan as a whole was accepted by the state. Davis parents should plan on sending their kids to class two days of the week and remote learning the other three. The school district should release the hybrid schedule sometime on Friday. I'm Jason Wint in the newsroom, ABC4 News.